We stand here today in a great tradition, not as our lying critics would have it, in the tradition of those who defied the courts in order to oppress and destroy the rights of their fellow human beings, but in the tradition of those who stood against unjust laws in order to stand for the rights of all our people. This is where we stand. Condemned by a liberal media, sued by leftist lawyers who seek enrichment from more than a million dollars in tax-subsidized legal fees, prosecuted by one who supposedly shares his principles, but says his principles will have no bearing on his duties as Attorney General of Alabama, suspended by lesser men, but lifted up by the prayers of millions of Christians throughout the United States. Roy Moore each day risks his life and his fortune, but never his sacred honor. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my high honor to give you Alabama's most faithful and popular public servant, God's man for these times, the elected Chief Justice of the state of Alabama, the Honorable Roy Moore. This is one of the most historic occasions in a long time in the United States. Judge Moore has been standing up for the right of the people of this state to make, by constitutional means, decisions about how the state will honor God and how the state will express the religious beliefs of the people. The words of Judge Byron Thompson in this case when he said, and I quote, the issue is, can the state acknowledge God? He said, no. ruling is allowed to stand. It will reverberate from state to state to state to the nation's capital. And the acknowledgement of God will be taken from us. If we sit quietly by while this inalienable right is taken, even the rocks and the trees and the stones that you see will cry out. Let's get it straight. It's about one thing. It's about the acknowledgement of the God upon which this nation and our laws are founded.